Hi, I'm Rich Marquini. I'm the principal here at Owen J. Roberts High School. Welcome to the show. We have on our show today Sarah Hume, who's a freshman here at the high school, who's the chairman of the Minithon event. Sarah, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit about the Minithon event that you're planning for the spring? Um, it's a 12-hour overnight, no sitting, no sleeping dance marathon that raises money for pediatric cancer. Uh, it, do the students have to dance the whole time? No, it's not just dancing for the full 12 hours. There'll be sports like dodgeball and floor hockey, and we'll have other games and a live band too, so it'll be fun. So in the cafeteria would be the dance with the band, DJ, things like that? Mm -hmm. And then the events, the other games will be in the gym? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, do students have to stay the whole time? Uh, no, if you have to leave at 1030, you can. Okay, and then once they're here at 1030, they have to stay the whole night? Yeah, they're committed that. <laughs> Excellent. Um, this obviously is a, a big fundraiser for charity. What's the charity? That oh, it's the Four Diamonds Fund, and it funds cancer research, and it pays medical expenses for families with cancer patients. Uh, Four Diamonds families at the Penn State Children's Hospital in Hershey. Excellent. And you had said this is in March again? Yeah, it's March 22nd starting at 7 p.m. to March 23rd at 7 a.m. Now how did you get involved in this, being a freshman at the high school and chairman of this big event? <laughs> well, um, my parents are really big Penn Staters and I'm a big Penn Stater, so uh, I always thought that was really cool. And once I got into student government, I realized, you know, like I could bring this to the school and it would be really good for the great, we have a great student body, it'd be really great for Pride too. Excellent, excellent. It sounds like a wonderful event. I've seen students down in the cafeteria for uh, sign-up sheets. Yeah. Uh, how does someone go about signing up? Um, there's dancer forms in the cafeteria during the lunches. It's in the office and it's in the library. And you have to fundraise. You have to make at least $36. By then you're registered. And then you can sign up for a team with 15 to 30 of your friends, or a lot of clubs are making teams, and I think that's a really great idea. So each student has to raise at least $36? Yes. And so if you have a couple hundred students, that's quite a bit of money going towards a charity. Yeah, hopefully. We're trying to get $10,000. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, is there a website or other or some place they can go for other information? Uh, yeah. We have a Facebook, a Twitter, mm -hmm. and... Um, there, we have a donor drive website where you can actually register and people can donate to you online. Okay, and we can post those websites and information on our high school website. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want to make sure, March 22nd. Yes. Right, students need to register with $36 uh, fundraising or donation minimum. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And when's the due date to register? Um, the end of February. End of February. So they have mm -hmm. about a month, but they should get that in. Yeah, definitely. And a lot of students are registering as part of a team. Uh, so yes. You sign up individually, and then you register as a team. So I would sign okay. up early so you can get on the team you want. So like the soccer team, perhaps? Yeah, or <laughs> that would be cool. Lacrosse or whatever yeah. it would be might just uh, come all together mm -hmm. and stay all night. Yeah. Excellent. Do you have a lot of staff who are volunteering for the event? Yeah, definitely. I've already gotten a lot of support, a lot of Penn State alums. Um, parents, anybody over 18 can help chaperone. Help chaperone. And if there's people that need community service hours, they can help serve food and right. things like that. And other schools in the area are doing this kind of thing that all filters into um, Penn State? Yeah, a lot of different high schools across the state and surrounding states. And it all goes towards that big total, the actual Penn State-thon. Excellent. I think it's wonderful that you're planning such a big event for such a good cause. Yeah, thank you. That's great. And of course, you know, our office is willing to help any way we can. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks mm -hmm. for being on the show today. Well, thank you. Thanks for tuning in to the show today with Sarah Hume uh, telling us all about the Minithon event on March 22nd. Make sure you stop in the office or on the website or in the cafeteria, pick up a registration form. Uh, it's a great charitable event and we're looking forward to a big crowd. Thanks and have a nice day.